Hey, hey man, you need a ride? I'll give you a lift. It's free. You can ride in luxury. I live on the south side. All right, I love the south side. I'll give you a lift, man. Ding, ding. It's getting a little, it's getting a little cold. It's too, uh, too late to be sitting out. Yeah, come on in, man. Look, ding, I'm, ding. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay or not. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. Your sense of humor. I'm Zook. Uh, Zook? Yeah. I used to have a really good friend named Zeke. Oh. W was he brilliant? Or was he kind of strange? No, he was a very good martial artist. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll take you wherever, wherever you want to go. Dude, I just, uh, I got a truck, Look, the starter went out. Oh. And so I'm taking a bus. Oh, I've, I've been, I'm a bus rider. Oh, I've, God. I've, I've, I know what it's like, that bus. It'll take you all afternoon to get, to get back and forth. I can't believe forth. that you fucking stopped and gave me a ride. Well, Why would you want to do that? Well, you were just sitting there. You looked uh, a little cold. You looked a little, you know, like you could use a friend. I was riding by and, you know. There's nothing wrong with, you know, being nice to a stranger once in a while, right? Well... We're going this way? Yeah, that would be... I, I live on uh, uh, Rogers and Country Club. Oh, okay. You know what, I roller skate um, down that far once in a while. I, I can't believe you stopped and couldn't give me a ride. Well, is it, <laughs> hasn't anybody ever stopped and picked you up before? No. Okay. And I don't take the bus because I have a vehicle, but it's not running so i have to take the bus to go get it running you know what it is god's looking out for you well what the hell doesn't that make sense yes you, you've got a protecting angel it I'm sounds a little like apprehensive here. well <laughs> that's <laughs> that's uh I, I i tell you i will not turn down a ride you know, I, I understand it's a little bit unusual for a stranger to say hey you want to ride in fact i'll even offer you diet pepsi you like diet pepsi Okay, well, I, got, I got my Diet Pepsi right here. I think we can just go straight here, right? Is that the best bet? Uh, no, never go straight, just go forward. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little pun there. Never go straight, just go forward. Hey, so, uh... How long How long you been living in Bloomington? Oh, I was born and raised here. Well, did you go to north or south or...? South. I had a job interview over at South once. I'm an art teacher by trade. Oh, really? Yeah, they didn't hire me. I used to, uh, I, I went to uh, IU in several different places, and I never got a degree, but uh, one of my portraits was art. And I drew a glass of water. Ooh, water's hard. Yes, and that is one of the hardest things to do, and I drew it, and I, Did not win, or, but it was so realistic that it was, it, it was weird. Oh, well. It, <laughs> it took me weeks, because I had to get the sweat just right. Well, do you, do you have a sketchbook these days? Well, this was like 30 years ago. Well, if you had talent 30 years ago, you still have talent today. Let's go, go ahead and buy yourself a cheap sketchbook. Oh, and... God. I've done many drawings, dragons, and chains of uh, confinement, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's been my and experience. Portraits. Oh, well, the, the, the human figure, human anatomy is extremely difficult, you wouldn't as you know. mind stopping at a liquor store before I go home, would you? No, I can stop up here somewhere if you have somewhere in mind what are you getting a little thirsty for some beer or some tequila or something no i just want a shot or two of uh, fireball cause fireball i don't is... drink a whole lot but fireball shooters hell yeah they're, every once in a while they're all right okay well you just point me and where I'm, I'm having a really frustrating day with my truck well, I know when the cars break down, but look at it this way. I just took a bus 
this was my second trip uptown yeah. to fix my truck. And I had a friend uh, give me a ride to Walmart earlier to buy a new battery. Well, here, here's the thing. What, what, what did you say I your name was? Uh, Dennis. Dennis. Here's the thing, Dennis. I've driven junk cars pretty much my whole life. I'm a lifelong junk car my, my, driver. My, my, my dad is too. I come from... not a junk truck. Well, or not, not new cars. I come from a long line of junk vehicle drivers. Yeah. It's it's like in my lineage. Most you of my good mechanic? No, no, no. I'm not. No, no. But most of my ancestors have been junk car drivers too. And the thing is, it's just a lot better than having an eight hundred dollar a month car payment. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's frustrating, and yeah, you gotta every go once down. Once in a while, you gotta put a counter or two dollars. Yeah. In it, but. Every once in a while, you're gonna find yourself laying in the dirt at the junkyard trying to get like, and like my, late, like lately, my door cable is, is shut. Lately, I, I, I just had the whole front end rebuilt on this truck. All the bushings, all the arms, and everything. Whole front end, uh, all new plugs and how much did that cost? Oil you? packs and um, about fifteen hundred all together. Well, that sounds like a lot of work there. It sounds like maybe you got a But, deal. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, well, if you had an $800 a month car payment, that would be two months of car payment. No, I so. inherited this truck. Oh. Did, so, uh, did somebody die? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't mean father, to be My no. real father. Oh, no. Huh? I didn't know him. You didn't know him, but he left you a, left you a car anyway? Truck? No, I got ripped off. Oh. Uh, all I got was a, a truck that ran great for a while, but now it's a money pit. And uh, they stole the rest of the 15000 20000 Who stole it? I should have. My older brother. Oh, that sucks. Then he died, and I ain't never going to get it. Hmm. What, well, do you come from a big family, or? No. Do you well, want, well, yeah. Do, do you want to run in here? Uh, yeah, I come from a great family, but, you know, half of them are dead now. Oh, that's too, <laughs> that's too bad. All right, Dennis, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait for you right here, my friend. Does that sound good? Dude, I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> you can leave your junk here. I'm not going to take off. You got to use the outside handle. All right. You got to just give it, a, give it a crank there. Okay. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Ding, ding. All right, we're gonna wait for a second to de for Dennis to run into the store here. He seems absolutely flummoxed, confused, incredulous that somebody would actually pull over and give him a ride. But here we are, and while he's in the store, I'm gonna go ahead and do a sunglasses change here. Let's see. All right, I think I look cool now. All right, hop on in. Ding ding. Oh. Get get there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. What's your uh, Zook. Zook. With a Z. What what'd you get? Fireball. Oh okay. Zook. So did you have parents from the 60s? Yeah, my parents were, uh, I was born in 1968. Did they go to Woodstock? <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 pa name <laughs> my parents were impecunious college kids. Do you know what impecunious means? No. Poor. Okay. <laughs> I should know what that means. Well, impecunious sounds a lot better than poor, doesn't it? Impecunious. I impecunious. Yeah. So you, you never say, heard that word before. So you say you come from a big family? What, you have a lot of brothers and sisters? Six. Oh. I'm right in the middle. And you said your brother died, so what are your, are you still in touch with the rest of them? Uh, two brothers died and a sister died. Mom and dad died. My mom and grandpa died. Mm. I am the oldest living member of the family. Wow. Yeah, do you have any kids of your own or any of that kind of thing? I do. In Kentucky. 
Country club? Do I turn here? Yeah. Oh, okay. How old is she? She's probably about thirty-six, thirty-eight. Hmm. Well, I haven't been in my thirties in quite some time, but I appreciate the compliment, Dennis, nonetheless. Dude, you don't know how welcome this is. <laughs> well, okay. I have been doing. This is the second trip I've made up in town to go spend money on my fucking truck. That was $150. That's an alternator? A starter. Starter. Yeah. Well, the starters are pretty easy to change, but the trick is you got to get to them, right? See, all my truck was doing was clicking, clicking, clicking. So. Had, I got AAA, and this kid came and said, well, it's probably the solenoid. Oh, and, the solenoid. And I would start with that first, because that's the cheapest. Oh, look at those people. I wonder if they're... So, they're uh, no, they're religious people who... Oh, I think they're those Jehovah's. Yeah. Are you a church-going man? Do uh, you? No. I, I believe in higher power, but here I am. That, that green truck there. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You know this lady here? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Oh, okay. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Bettina. Go ahead and pull her. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, hold her. Yeah, come on over and visit with us. No, I got it jacked up, getting ready to put the story right. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Oh, this is a good truck. Okay. But man, uh, with my problem, it, it's one of three things. The solenoid or the starter. Or the battery. I bought a new solenoid. Put it in. I went this morning and bought a new battery. Mm. Put it in. Click, click. Oh, okay, you know what? I roller skate right past here. So if you ever see a strange looking guy on rollerblades skating by here, don't be alarmed, Dennis. It's me. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> uh, 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 Zook. Yeah. You have a right to knock on my door. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I, sometimes I have to fill up my water bottle. But yes, anytime you... My God, yes, please do. Okay. Because, dude, you have been a lifesaver for me today. I would have waited another half an hour for the damn bus. They only yeah. run every hour. And I just missed the one when I came out to buy this. Okay. Well, hey, maybe I'll stop by and ask you for a fill, refill of my water bottle when, when I'm rollerblading, Dennis. Good luck with your truck. And if you see me around, give me a shout out and a wave. Ding ding. Dude, God bless you. Well, God bless you. Because, thank you. <laughs> the pleasure's mine. I'll see you later, Dennis. Be good. Okay. <laughs> There we go here. Let me back out. And like I said, Dennis there was is genuinely befuddled that somebody would be nice to him on a overcast Saturday afternoon here in the heartland in South Central Indiana. And remember, if you like what you see here, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I will see everybody very soon. Off we go. Ding, ding.